Would you please present the first matter that we're going to vote on? The first matter to consider is the election of directors. The company's bylaws require that every director stand for election each year. Therefore, all of the individuals listed in your proxy statement are nominated for election for one-year terms expiring in 2012. As always, uh, one of the most important items on our agenda is the election of directors. I believe that we have one of the most um, knowledgeable, strategic, and engaged boards in business, in the business world today. Our directors continued effective counsel will be even more essential to our business as we move into an era of greater complexity and also opportunity. I'll take two questions on this matter. Um, is there any discussion on this topic? I think paddle eight. Mr. Chairman, Ray Rogers is a shareholder. Now, Mr. Chairman, first of all, I'm sure I can agree with you and the entire board. Those kids deserved a standing ovation, and I was up there cheering as well. They're terrific. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rogers. Thank you for coming. And, thank uh, you. Th thank you for your interest in our company. All right. Now, I'm going to obviously ask some questions. We don't agree with you on everything. And I'll try to get some responses. I'm keeping it within two minutes, but you'll respond, so it may go a little over two because you'll be responding. Mr. Chairman, do you and the board understand the consequences of lying to investors and withholding information or potential liabilities that could cost the company billions of dollars in fines, restitution, damages, and loss of brand value? A simple yes or no will do. Continue. If the board can't agree, if you, you and the board don't agree with this, we, we really have some problems here, but go ahead. Continue, please, with your question. You've got a minute well, to go. No, we've we got a little time. Can you answer that with a yes or no? Now you've got to finish your whole question, Mr. Rogers. All right, well, I want some real answers, so I'll continue. If the answer is yes, which it expects it should be, then why do I find nothing in the documents sent to shareholders alerting them to the festering lawsuit filed by Angel Alvarado, the former 16-year Coca-Cola employee and marketing executive turned whistleblower when the company pressured him to act illegally to destroy the competition at 700,000 mom and pop stores throughout Mexico, where center percent of soft drinks are sold. Unfortunately for Coke, the Alvarado case has drawn the attention of the Mexican government to even more serious charges. Preliminary investigations by Mexican authorities support allegations that the Coca-Cola Company and the Coca-Cola Export Corporation conspired to cheat Mexican workers and the government out of hundreds of millions of dollars through an illegal scheme of outsourcing and tax evasion. So a question there is, are you aware, are the board aware, of the preliminary investigation that has taken place in Mexico? On November 8, 2010, the Director General of the Treasury Department sent a letter to the Administrator of Mexico's Physical Auditing Agency explaining that his department found evidence that Coca-Cola is defrauding the Treasury Department and requested further investigations and confirmation of his findings. The ongoing investigation will require the return to Mexico of John Quincy former president of Coca-Cola's Mexico division to testify in a Mexican court. During last year's annual meeting, Mr. Kent, in response to my question, you lied about the existence of Alvarado's lawsuit and its potential ramifications, and you were exposed as a liar by the Mexican press. I'm summing up here. If Alvarado's allegations and preliminary investigations by the Treasury Department in Mexico are true, and there's plenty of supporting evidence on his website and on killercoke.org, the estimated cost to the Coca-Cola company and its shareholders could well exceed a billion dollars. Then one has to ask, in how many other countries is Coke involved in similar fraudulent activities? I'll hear here, but I could also talk about the 48 million I see nothing about, you're paying in India, 
because of the lies and denying what's going on there. I could talk about what's going I, I on there. I think I've given you enough time. Right? Uh, 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 we've given you a lot, uh, much more than uh, the two minutes. Uh, Mr. Rogers, like last year and the years prior to that, your allegations, your accusations cover similar topics. The facts don't back up your accusations, simply put. Because I can tell you, you have spent all your time denigrating our company. I'll take a few minutes just to talk about a few of the things that our company does to improve the lives of millions and millions of people all around the world. You sit down. Now you have to sit down. Mr. Rogers, you, you had enough time. I am answering your question. Sit, will you please sit down? You listen, just like I listened to your question, you need to listen to my answer. Right. You have to now, you have to listen to my answer. We have, we are one of the largest investors in the, in the country of Mexico. I had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in Mexico in the last year, both with government and also local government officials. And we have even received a recently, very recently, a letter by the Mexican president, Mr. Calderon, inviting the board of directors to have a meeting in Mexico. Mexico, there is no better community work that we do than in Mexico. We are one of the best social uh, citizens in Mexico. Our social license in Mexico is one of the strongest we have in the world. And all your accusations, I believe, I can tell you from the podium here, are false. They have no, they have no merit. They have no merit. And let me just, let me just, let, let me just finish. Workplace, workplace and, hu workplace and human rights are, I, workplace and human, you are out of order, Mr. Rogers. You are out of order. If you do not sit down, I'm going to have to ask Cobb Galleria to escort you out of this meeting. If, if you don't sit down, I'm going to have to ask Cobb Gallery. Sit down, please. Well, I have said to you that your accusations are all groundless, have not any facts to back them up. Fine. We will continue. Um, we are very proud of every single day of work that we do in Mexico. Very proud. Very proud. Now, um, do we have a second question on the topic of election of directors?